Hello, in this video I want to show you why I think that Glock doesn't add the beaver tail back straps to all models yet. I have here my Glock 35 generation 4. It came with the beaver tails. And I have my Glock 22 generation 4. I bought this pistol I think 6 months ago or maybe longer. And when you look at the grip they are exact the same, but the beaver tail model, the grip from the Glock 35 and from the Glock 22 is normally the same size, but the beaver tail model has this small nose here. I hope you see it to snap on the beaver tail and the grip on the 22. doesn't have this nose. So now let's see how the beaver tail works on the 35 uh, with the nose and how it will work on the 22 without the nose. First thing I do is I make sure that there's no round in the chamber. I took out the magazine before, pull the slide back, look in the chamber, there's no round in it. Let the slide go forward and pull the trigger. Same thing with the 22. Also the magazine is released. Pull the slide back. No round in the chamber. Let the slide go forward. Pull the trigger. Now I will take off my normal backstrap. This is the medium backstrap. This tool came with the Glock 35. There is a punch on it. And just punch out this bolt and you can take off the back strap. To install the beaver tail back strap on the 35, just do the same thing like on the other back straps and snap in this nose. And then it will be easy to install the bolt, hopefully. I don't know why, but it is easier from the other side normally. I use the tool to punch it in. And, hope you see it in the camera, the beaver tail snapped on this little nose on the grip and it fits very well and there is nothing what can move without the grip and the beaver tail fits perfect on this model. So let's take it off and see how it looks on the 22 with the old grip without the nose. Just punch the bolt out. And you see it is a bit hard but not that hard to uninstall the beaver grip beaver tail grip. Show it to you in the camera. Here you have this little nose when you put it in and then you hear the snap. Take it off again and I'll put the normal back strip on because I like them better than the beaver tail. So now the same thing on the Glock 22. Punch out this bolt. And now put the beaver tail on. Beaver tail backstrap. And there is no nose to snap in. I put in the bolt on the other side. It goes a bit harder. 
now the bolt is in and the beaver tail also fits very good but you can move this part because there is no little nose on the 22. I've mounted the beaver tail again on the 35 and you see it doesn't move on the 35 because of the little nose. So if you want to have a Glock with a beaver tail you should look for the newer models because it will work better on them. If you already have the old models without the nose then the beaver tail would work but as you have seen it moves a bit. It will be no problem when you shoot the pistol but it is not perfection. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. See you next time. Bye bye.